We all like to ponder the big questions. Are we alone in the universe? Why do we dream? And most importantly, how long should a session last between the sheets? Uh, I don't know, like 25, 30 seconds maybe, 40 if you're at the tail end of a Jack Daniels and cocaine bender. I, I'm just venturing a guess based on Nigel's most recent experiences. Fuck off, doughboy. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new tray of beef lasagna, hot and fresh out of the oven. My name is Leon Lush and I am just so grateful to be blessed with your company for just a few minutes here today. Now today I'm very excited because we're talking about one of my personal favorite games called How to Keep a Video Monetized on YouTube while talking about something sex related. And I've played this game before, and I've won before, but I've also lost quite a few times. But I'll be damned, regardless of the outcome, I love a good challenge. Now today we're playing the game on expert mode as well, because I'm going to show a couple of clips from a nationally syndicated television show here in the United States. And Lord knows with YouTube's new copyright tools, I mean, there is a 100% chance that uh, whatever big fuck off network broadcasts this show is going gonna, is gonna to claim that shit immediately. You better fucking believe I'm ready for a fight. <laughs> So I got a lot of comments in my last video about how bad my back was sweating uh, in this clip right here. Pretty thick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a 270 pound calorie furnace of destruction. Shit, I sweat trying to open a bag of mesquite barbecue kettle cooked potato chips. My sweat glands work harder than anyone else I know, and I'm proud of that. We've all heard the saying, Timing is everything, and this next topic definitely proves it. Now, this clip is from the show called The Doctors, called How Long Does Intercourse Normally Last? And it showed up in my recommended a few days ago. It has almost 9 million views, of course, because that's a beautifully crafted title, right? That's, I mean, any anybody's going to click on that. We want to know. How long should intercourse last? Am I above average, or am I... Am I not doing so hot? Do I need to work on my sexual stamina to reach par? I mean, this is, these are the questions that this video might help us answer, so we're gonna click on it so it gets 9 million fucking views. Now, the show The Doctors caters to primarily one demographic, and that is that middle-aged, lonely-ass housewife that sits alone at home all day while the husband's off on a business trip in Southeast Asia fucking Thai prostitutes. It's the kind of show where a panel of qualified doctors sit around with a couple of guests and talk about the latest and greatest in today's medical world and what's on the up and up for how to stay healthy like taking ginkgo biloba or some sort of green tea extract and next thing you know every woman between the ages of 40 and 65 in the United States is sucking down $150 worth of bullshit placebo supplements thinking it's going to prevent cancer. Anyways quality programming like this breeds quality YouTube clips like this for me to react to so I personally hope this show never ever dies. Dr. Brendan Zeech studied the average time hundreds of couples have intercourse from all different countries around the world with the aid of a stopwatch. So I guess this professor studied how long couples had sex all over the world with the aid of a stopwatch, apparently, and I'm just picturing like this nerdy guy in a lab coat standing in the corner of a, a room with like this old stopwatch and commence fucking. Hmm. Interesting. Gonna put you on the spot. In this study, She's what do you think the average time was for a sexual intercourse session. Hmm. I would say... It's gonna be interesting. How long is it for you? <laughs> <laughs> no, you did it! No, you did it, Molly Sims! You are bad! You are bad. Oh, that is a cute doctor, though. You, Molly, come on! The average... <laughs> sounds too short to me. That's I, just Of course that sounds a little short for you. You're a nationally televised doctor for Christ's sake with a nine and a half inch girth monster in his pants. You're going at least a minimum of like one and a half to two hours. Let's be honest. I would say like... <laughs> you can say it. I wrote a number. Well, it doesn't reflect anybody. 25 minutes. Okay. That's not a bad run. 20. <laughs> wow. Aww. <laughs> That's so cute, 25 minutes. What an endearing answer. Listen, Molly, though, you gotta understand, we're not talking about the doctor over here or daddy deep dick, right? We might skew the average a little bit. We're talking about the actual average of the world. That's including people that post screenshots of their Fortnite wins to their Instagram stories. <laughs> Actually, uh, scratch that. Those people have never been laid. I digress. The average time? 
Five minutes and four seconds. That's more like it. Gets, gets, gets. Really, it's five minutes? Yeah. yeah. Five minutes, four seconds. Well, five minutes. Now, Molly Sims is a retired supermodel, so I think it's safe to assume that she's not just sleeping around with the average guy, right? So it's it's understandable why her, her perception of what average is may have skewed north a little bit. It's also the quality that matters, well, right? It so it's not I just... Agree. Is I it 304 so. seconds? <laughs> Ooh, this cougar is dropping knowledge bombs right now. It's not always about how long you get the D, it's about how that D is receiveth. Those 304 well, seconds might be I mean, uh, you know, you really got to right. You got to get the motor running, so to speak. I mean, you got to warm things up a little bit. So, we can't go from 0 to 60 well, in a, I included that in my time. But but those, like okay. All right, now the 25 minutes is making a little more sense. If we're including foreplay in this equation, right? That's gonna that's gonna take a little bit longer. Maybe you got the berries and cream out. You throw like an old Bowflex infomercial on the television to get you excited. Throw on a furry suit. Whatever gets the gears turning, right? And then after initial penetration, five minutes and four seconds. I mean, those are still beta numbers, but we're making a little more. We're it's a little more reasonable. What's the rush, everyone? You know, this is fun. Let's let's like five minutes. Let's keep it going. Going. Provided you can get it going, yes. I mean that is an issue. <laughs> but provided you can get and it going, as you get all, you you have a tendency to to last longer. Like you hear that, boys? There's still hope. Reaching that five minute mark may seem like a fantasy right now, but fast forward 30 years, and provided you can get it going with like Viagra or something like that, well then there's a tendency for you to last longer and you'll be able to nail that fucking knock it out of the park. You'll knock it. You'll be 55 years old just. Jogging bitches. <laughs> and a lot of women have difficulty reaching orgasm, so. Yeah, because a lot of women haven't slept with Nigel. <laughs> Up top. Premature ejaculation is the most common male sexual dysfunction. It's a legitimate problem for a lot of men out there. And so while we're having fun with this, obviously, if you're someone who feel, feels like you suffer from that, um, it's worth getting an evaluation. Do I have premature ejaculation? Estimates vary, but as many as one of three men say they experience this problem at some time. As long as it happens infrequently, it's not cause for concern. However, you might be diagnosed with premature ejaculation if you always or nearly always ejaculate within one minute of, pen of penetration. Who can relate? Ooh. Just to have that little bit of extra time, and I, it does make a difference. It makes a difference in my marriage. Well, and it's, it's so very important. <laughs> and just like Dr. Phil clips, they uh, end very abruptly and without warning, but uh, unlike Dr. Phil, they still have the comments enabled. What am I doing here? I have an exam and I'm a virgin. <laughs> Had sex for an hour and 40 seconds once. Well, it's not that bad. It was daylight savings time. <laughs> Five minutes of licking and four seconds of bumping. Yo, Molly, give me a chance. I bet you will forget your husband next D, said every virgin ever. I take it as a compliment when my man finishes quickly. That's some girlfriend material right there. And finally, my friend Peter North, <laughs> appropriate name, said, how do I get here from watching Taiwanese street foods? Oh, fucking classic YouTube rabbit hole, that's how. I feel that pain. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. I truly appreciate you. And you may be asking yourself, what looks different about this video? Did you get, did something, di yeah, it is. I got some new gear uh, that I'm really happy with. I just upgraded my camera and it's it's uh, it's really nice. So if you ever want to know like what equipment I use, you can go down to the description and there'll be Amazon links to a lot of the, the main equipment that I use. And that's a way you can support the channel. If you're ever thinking about buying something, you can use one of those Amazon links and I take a small commission. But other than that, I got new merchandise coming soon. I'm very excited to share. I'm just waiting on one or two more designs to finalize. And then those are going to go live. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. If you're new, it would mean the world if you subscribed. And if you could, just do me a little favor before you go and uh, stand up out of your computer chair and for five minutes and four seconds exactly, just hip thrust that motherfucking like for the fuck. Fuck! Oh, fuck. I had the, the whole thing. I just, and I, I, the, the easiest part, I couldn't complete it. Just hip, just hip thrust that. Just help thrust the motherfucking like button, please. Just do it. I'm so sick of fucking. Oh. Yeah. You. 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 I need some motherfucking.
with you.